Good day, Las Vegas, and welcome back to Vegas Vibes, giving you a peek at what's grooving and brewing in the music, pageantry, live production, and fascinating scenes in the city that never sleeps. And I'm your host, Esmeralda Padilla Gould. I would like to thank the hundreds of thousands of loyal viewers of Vegas Vibes on Vegas Live TV, AC TV, WC TV, and BingeNetworks.tv, especially those watching on my favorite devices. Roku, Kodi, Amazon Fire TV, Samsung and LG Smart TVs, the recently added Pizzas.tv and Dailymotion app, and of course, in my very own website, VegasVibes.us. Please continue to support my show as well as my Vegas Vibes network by telling your friends to like Vegas Vibes on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. I also would like to thank the millions of visitors who came to Vegas this month as we continue to celebrate the Vegas Vibes moment that Las Vegas is fully but cautiously open. We continue to encourage all locals and visitors to be more responsible in dealing with the extension of the pandemic so we can all reap the benefits of a safer and peaceful community. We hope to continue seeing familiar faces when we watch mega concerts and major sports events live and in person, even with our mask on. For the next two seasons or so, I will be featuring two of my most talked about interviews since I started in the business. Some of you may notice that I gained a few inches since then, maybe because I'm a chocoholic. No thanks to the pandemic, but I'm happy to give a throwback treat to my loyal viewers. Find out who my interviewers are, so don't go away. Welcome back. Las Vegas remains to host the best and the biggest resorts in the globe, and some of the best entertainers in the world live right here in this great city. It's bursting at the seams with creative juices, and those mega live productions can't forever be parked in the shade. So keep coming to Vegas. There's danger everywhere, even in your own closet. So keep coming, but be vigilant and careful all the time, even if you're fully vaccinated. My throwback interviews with Miss Asia North America Beauty Queens, Amanda Jiang, and Vivian Chen. Coming up next, so freeze that remote until Vegas Vibes returns. I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold and welcome to Vegas Vibes. On Vegas Vibes, I'll be featuring amazingly talented people from many walks of life who contribute to making Las Vegas a unique global brand. And one of the topics that is my favorite is pageantry. So here with us today is the reigning Miss Teen Asia North America 2018, Miss Amanda Jung. Hello! Hello, welcome. hello. Thank you for having me today. It's my pleasure to have you in Vegas Vibes. Well, recall how excited or nervous you were when, or you must have been when they called your name and announced that you are the next Miss Teen Asian yes. North America. So how that, what was running in through your mind? Yes, of course. So I think everybody was nervous on stage, you know, just like the energy that was going through. Everybody was so excited. And when uh, they called my name, I had no words, I was speechless, and I was thinking to myself, wow, did I really win? Like, all of my hard work really paid off at the end. Um, I remember standing on stage with like the bright lights just on me, and I was shaking. I, I had a smile on my face, of course, and I was shaking, I was on the edge of tears. Uh, my family was cheering for me, my friends, and just seeing how happy they were just really spoke to me inside, too. Has it always been your dream to become a beauty queen? Yes, ever since I was young, you know, I used to uh, take those model walking, um, like those classes, I would say. And I've always wanted to become like a beauty queen. I've always wanted to become like a model. And I think uh, winning this pageant really made me uh, accomplish my dream now and accomplish my dream from like 10 years ago. This is your first pageant? This is, yes. This is, wow, congratulations, <laughs> first try and you're done. Thank you, thank you, yeah. So what motivated you to join Miss Asia North America aside from that? I mean, what have you seen in Miss Asia North America that you said, okay, this is the pageant that I want to be competing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. into? 
So I first heard about this pageant through a friend of mine and she was there competing and I thought to myself, wow, she's so beautiful and confident. Who's that? If I may know. <laughs> Her name is Chloe. Oh. oh, Chloe, I know Chloe. Yes. And From thought, last year. Yes, yes. Two years ago. Yes. yes. Um, and I thought to myself, you know, she's so confident. She's very tall. She's very tall, yes. And she's so beautiful as well. And I thought, like, wow, how could I ever stand up there like her? I don't, I didn't think that I had the confidence to do that. But, you know, like, I signed up for the pageant and I was like, I'm going to do it. But this. you did. You brought home yes. the crown. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought to myself, you know, like, I'm just going to do it. Yeah, just believe in yourself. Yes, just believe in yourself. That's that's what I would really tell the audience as well. Yeah. Well, kind of share with us a little background about yourself, like where are you originally from? What country did you represent? Yes, of course. So I'm originally from Arizona um, and I was born here. So I represent the Chinese community. Uh, I am 17 years old this year and I currently study business at West Career and Technical Academy. Um, I have two younger siblings and I love them very, very much. Yeah. Wow. So what insight or experiences have you gleaned during the competition? Like, do you remember a certain favorite part of the competition? What kind of preparation did you do? I think the competition went by very, very fast, just the entire thing in general. Um, for example, like the rehearsals. The rehearsals were fun and, you know, that was the time where we got to connect and meet the other contestants and some contestants were from New York, uh, Missouri, and that was Seattle, amazing yes. to see. Met and Yeah, stories. yeah, of course. So I think the entire experience overall was just very fast and very, um, just very exciting in general and I'm very glad that I got to meet all of the other contestants. Yeah. Uh, how would you describe the meaning of being a beauty queen? Well, how does it make you feel? Are you nervous? Proud? Did it change your perception or opinion about beauty pageants based on your experience when yes. you competed? Yes, yes, yes. So I am very, very honored actually to become a beauty queen. But you know, I was not always that confident girl that you see up on stage. You know, I was very shy. And to stick take this like big step forward for me is like a life-changing moment you know and before you know I was thinking like I don't think pageants are for me you know like pageants are for confident beautiful women and I just didn't see myself as that before but you know but you just step outside your comfort zone of course I had to yeah and I'm very very glad that I did I'm very glad that because you that. discovered things about yourself of that you course. never thought you would of course, without able to do yes, without this passion, beyond your my, imagination. Yes, and of course. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, um, what are your plans or a specific set of goals to strive for, or what would you like to accomplish during? or by the end of your reign? Yes, so a lot of, I have a lot of goals this year and a lot of them center around the community as a whole. And I would like to participate in all of these events. I'm actually going to an event next week. And another community service that I'm going to would be with another uh, pageant sister that I met in the pageant. And so I would like to participate in these kind of events where I can help the community. They get to uh, further know who I am, further get to know the pageant as a whole and um, yeah I just plan to expand on that way. What was your platform? My platform was advocating for MDA and I also wanted to advocate for and MDA stands for Muscular Dystrophy Association. Why did you pick that platform? So the platform was very very meaningful to me you know we all have the opportunity to stand on stage to represent ourselves and you know those kids they uh, struggle to accomplish those basic tasks let alone serve their communities and you know over 16,000 people in the US alone are affected by it like each year so I just wanted to take that opportunity to give them some light and I they deserve to be a part of our community as well right uh, as you progress through this new chapter in your life as the reigning Miss Teen Asian North America what advice would you give to aspiring beauty queens who are contemplating such an involved and time-consuming endeavor. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I would understand if a lot of people are shy and they're nervous to get on stage, you know, it's a large audience and you are being judged, but 
just like me and I was shy, you know, I would say just to do it, just to step outside of your comfort zone. You never know where it's going to take you. Um, yeah, you'll never know unless you try, right? <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And, you know, I've done many things in the past where I wasn't 100% successful in. And maybe you have those doubts of what if I can't do it? But the thing that you're going to get out of it is not only like the great experience, but you got, also get to meet so many new people and so many people around the country that, you know, have the same passion as you, that um, have the same desires as you as well. Well, thank you so much, Miss Amanda Zhang, Miss Teen Asian North America 2018. May you aspire more Asian and young Asian American to, you know, yeah. bring out the best in them through course. presenting themselves in pageants. Yes, and of course. <laughs> pursuing their dreams no matter what it takes. Yep, yep. Right? So, congratulations. Thank and you so much. On your thank you so much for having me here. And of course, we would like to thank Miss. Annie Evans, the CEO of and founder course, of, of Miss Asia North America. Annie is amazing. Yes, and visit their website, MissAsianNorthAmerica.org. That Can is correct. Can you invite all our global and local audience to where they could find you yes. or if they would like to get it? Yes, of course. You. you can find me at Facebook, and my current handle is Amanda Jang, Miss Teen Asian North America. Please follow me and like my page there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amanda. You're beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Maybe I know you're the one. Maybe I'm thinking it's better if you drive. Thank you for watching Vegas Vibes. I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold. I would like to thank my wardrobe sponsor. Thank you, Miss Anna Stewart Billings, for dressing me up. And Vegas Vibes. Their store is located at the Forum Shops inside Caesars Palace. Catch me again next time as I feature another amazing personality here on Vegas Vibes. Thank you and God bless. with us today is the reigning Miss Asian North America 2018, Miss Vivian Chen. How are you, Vivian? Hi, I'm well. Thank you so much for having me on the show. <laughs> We're excited to have you. Well, I would like to know where you're originally from and how old are you? I'm 29 and I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. And I moved out to Las Vegas to um, pursue a nursing career. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's very nice. You have to be very compassionate to yeah do that job. Yeah. Um, so are you, or did you already graduate? Or? Yes, I did. I already graduated. Um, I moved out to Las Vegas. Um, and so far, I love it. I love um, the Vegas vibes. <laughs> I really enjoy the culture. I love the diversity that um, the city offers. And I love the opportunities as well. So nursing is your first aspiration. And <laughs> how did you come up with this crowd and sash? Was that your uh, lifelong dream as well to become a beauty queen? Um, it was definitely, it was up in my bucket list. It was something that I've never done before and it was something that I really wanted to challenge myself with because I do have stage fright and that has always been one of my biggest fears is to be on stage. Um, and just having so many people sponsor me and support me in the whole process, it really, really made me want to just go for it and try it and do it and I, after winning, I'm just, I'm still, Aesthetic. yeah, I'm still so happy and so excited for everything. And I still, it's still a dream sometimes. <laughs> Having said that, is this your first pageant? Yes. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> wow. First try and you won the coveted title of Miss Asia North America. Yeah, it's such an honor. <laughs> so who is, was there a particular person who pers who encouraged you to join um, Miss Asia there, North America? There were a couple of physicians um, at my work that actually were really encouraging me and they were just kind of my inspiration. They really were pushing me to, they're about empowering young women, especially early in their careers. And they were just, they really gave me a huge push. And yeah. 
So you said you have stage fright. How yes. did you deal with that? Honestly, I was really, really nervous. I, I don't know if this is too much information, but I definitely almost felt like I, <laughs> I wanted to, you know, vomit on stage. But I just really held it together, and I just kept remembering that I have my family out in the audience watching me. I have my friends out there watching me, and everyone here is to support us, and everyone in the audience is there to support someone in the pageant and it's just all love and that was what I just tried to focus as much as I could on just everyone here is to support someone so no one's here to be mean or judgmental. Yes that's wonderful. <laughs> Do you have any favorite part of the competition or the most challenging part for you? The most challenging part would probably be the part where they ask us questions because you don't... The Q&A. The Q&A. Yes. Because you don't know what they're going to ask you. You literally draw out of a fishbowl any question and it could be anything. And that was the part that was the most um, difficult for me. Do you remember what was your question? Um, my question was, what would I, if I won, what would I do for my community? Which, um, yeah. I thought was a fair question. <laughs> Do you remember your answer? Well, my answer was that I really wanted to um, promote kind of affordable health care um, by promoting mid-level practitioners and promoting preventative medicine. I um, assume that's your platform yes. since you are in the medical field. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, how about your favorite part of the competition? What was the easiest? Maybe you swim to competition because <laughs> you're so fit. <laughs> you're so nice. No, um, my favorite part was probably the cultural part because it was really nice to see during rehearsal. Um, it was really nice to see everyone's cost costumes. Everyone was so creative. It was so beautiful. And I feel like I just learned so much about other, As even though it's an Asian competition, um, I felt as though there's just, it brought so many different Asian cultures. And there's so many differences between, you know, Chinese um, costumes as well as uh, Filipino and all the different cultures that it brought. It was just, it was really interesting. That was probably my favorite part. I think that that's my favorite part too when I joined Miss Asian North America. And at the time, I even won Best in Costume. Yes, your costume was beautiful. I saw. Oh, oh my goodness. You. Yeah, I loved your costume. Who did your costume? My costume, um, actually, I bought it in Chinatown because it's just a regular, it's one of those uh, Chosom dresses. Mm -hmm. And I bought it in Chinatown and just got it. I bet it you look like a China doll. Yeah. <laughs> in those outfits. Well, I definitely saw a lot of the costumes and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, the this is really creative. I wish I had something more creative. Um, but yeah, I think I just tried to try to um, just stay myself and try to keep it sort of simple and that's kind of how I am as a person. And it was just be yourself all the way. <laughs> is there a beauty queen? It, uh, I meant, is there a beauty queen that you look up to? Mm. Can you name one? I think her name is Pia. Pia Worsback yes. from the Philippines, yes. the most famous uh, beauty queen. She's so beautiful. She is. <laughs> Follow her on Instagram and she's just beautiful. And her platform, she just seems like such a wonderful, beautiful person inside and out. Yes, and I'm proud to say she's from the Philippines, yes. where I came from. Yes. Well, what would you like to achieve during your reign? Um, during what, are, my what are your goals? As of right now, my goals are um, I would just like to do as much volunteer work as possible. Um, so far, most of the volunteer work that I've done is for health and wellness, um, such as packing lunches for the homeless or for um, children going back to school, things such as that. Um, that's something that I'm really passionate about is health and wellness. One thing I really like about becoming a beauty queen, it mm -hmm. teaches you to be a humanitarian, yeah. like to be more compassionate to others and just be a good example yeah. to many, especially to the young Asian Americans. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there anything that you would wish to accomplish like, like after your reign? Like where do you see yourself? Uh, are you going to compete in a much larger pa pageant or this is it? I'm not sure. Um, I'm still thinking about it and it's, it's something that's been in the back of my mind but I'm not positive. Um, maybe? but I don't know how I'll do with my stage fright, so we'll see. <laughs> what was your talent? Did you have, 
no. did you get to perform? No, I didn't get a chance to, no, yeah. Do you sing, dance? No, I wish I did. <laughs> it's all beauty and rings. <laughs> Which is not the a bad Q &A. thing at all. <laughs> the Q&A. Yeah, so... If I did have to do a talent, I would try to cook. <laughs> you tried to cook, you wanted to be a chef? Um, yeah, I would love to. Something that uh, we probably could pursue also in the future. Yeah, I would love to. Be the queen to. chef and a nurse. <laughs> Very nice combination. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> that would be wonderful if I could. But yeah, if, if I could try to do a talent, it would be that. I just don't know if it's a fire hazard to have fire on stage. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you could be a magician too. Oh, maybe, right? <laughs> <Fire. laughs> a magician chef. <laughs> yes. Okay. So um, what else motivated you to join this pageant? Um, well, just seeing the organization. I think that Miss Asian North America, the organization itself is just, I wanted it for the experience, but just what it stood for. It stood for um, promoting Asian women and promoting their hopes and dreams and careers and really pushing all Asian women to just um, sort of step outside of their box and volunteer and um, meet other women with just similar likes and similar um, hopes and dreams as well. And and just Ms. Asian North America really just brought me out of my shell because I was always you shy. Know, a little bit on the shy Timid. side. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Let's do a quick talk. Okay. Just uh, say it, the first thing that comes on your mind. Okay. Okay. Name three things on your bucket list. On oh, my bucket list. Um, it would be Bali, um, so it would be to travel. Um, to maybe go to culinary school and um, to join an art class. Art class? Do you paint? Not well. That's why I want to join a class. Oh, okay. <laughs> Biggest pet peeves? Pet peeves. Uh, loud, rude people, I guess. Um, mean people and bullies. Mostly bullies. Yeah. Favorite animal? Elephants. Why elephant? These are the best. They're very compassionate and empathetic I and they're see. very smart and they never forget. I could see that uh, inner beauty is very important to you as well. Yes, very important. Favorite food? Um, oh, right. Chinese food. Chinese food, <laughs> yes. I actually love Filipino food. Ah. I love um, the, is it Tyrone? Tyrone, the one with Tyrone. the banana. Tyrone, oh yes, the banana wrap. So good, I'm salivating thinking about yes, it Yes, I right cook now. that. Oh, I'll cook for you one of these oh. days. If you could have a superpower, yes. what would it be and why? Um, it would probably be to, sounds a little bit plain, but I would probably want to fly. Oh. <laughs> it would save a lot on airplane tickets. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What would you do if you could travel in the, into the past? Um, I would like to see how other people live. I would love to see other people's cultures and how things evolved and became about. What era? Like, are you interested or fascinated to? I don't know if see. I have a specific era. Maybe... Maybe the 50s, 50s, because I think it would be interesting, yeah. Oh, cool. If you could choose anywhere in the world to live, where would you stay? Thailand. Thailand. Why yeah. Thailand? Because I love it there. Everyone there is so nice, and um, yeah. And the it's, food. And the food is amazing. I haven't, I can't get sick of the food. Who's your biggest crush? <laughs> my biggest crush? Hmm, does that have to be someone famous? Can it be my husband? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Right. Oh, that's given your yeah, husband so to... someone famous this is really hard I don't know favorite actor favorite actor I guess Ryan Reynolds okay if you had to choose between your crown and a love life mm -hmm. which would you choose and why oh that would be really hard of crown or my love life uh, I would have to say I couldn't do either without, like I wouldn't be able to do my crown without the support of my husband, but I wouldn't be able to have my love life without having my own life as well. So it'd be hard to choose one or the other. That's why it's very important to have a very supportive and understanding partner in life. Yes, right? definitely. Thank you so much. You have been so lovely and, of course, beautiful oh. with so much less makeup. It's like you're the only beauty queen I've seen with so much less makeup. I'm trying to promote natural beauty, maybe. Yes. Simplicity <laughs> is beauty, as they say. It might sound cliche, but mm. it's true to you. I'm trying to keep it very yeah. classic. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Vivian Chan. Kindly invite all our local and global viewers where they could find you or reach you. Um, I, you can find me on Instagram for Vivian Chan, uh, Ms. Asia North America on Instagram, and as well as Facebook. And Ms. it's M-S. 
it's not M-I-S-S. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Raven Chan, and I wish you good luck on your reign. Thank you And so all much. your future endeavors. Thank you for having me. <laughs> It's our pleasure. <laughs> well, thank you so much. There you go. Please support Ms. Asian North America. And a big shout out to the CEO and founder, Ms. Annie Evans. We hope you enjoyed watching this Vegas Vibes episode as much as I did. Promise to join me again next week on this same fabulous Vegas Vibes channel. And to all our global viewers out there, let me remind you that Las Vegas is not just about the world-renowned strip or the famous Fremont Street experience in the vibrant downtown district. It has real people, a lot of them, musicians, live entertainers, and those involved in the world of pageantry. And to the people here in the Valley who work hard each day to make Las Vegas a global brand. I would like to feature you and your cool story right here in Vegas Vibes, either in the studios or online via Zoom. If you believe that's you, please email me now at vegasvibes1 at gmail.com. Before I go, I would like to thank my world sponsor, Adventine, located at the Forum Shops of Caesars Palace. And Fontaine is now open for business as well. You may call Ms. Anna Billings at 702-733-6205 to make an appointment. And now for my favorite segment, the Vegas Vice Closet. Yes, it features an intricate selection of health and beauty products which I personally use. And this week, I have for you Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. Conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch with the Super Perfecting Natural Finish Concealer Makeup Hybrid. The ultimate multi-use formula for a modern and hydrated photo-ready complexion. Fully loaded pigments provide maximum coverage with undetectable finish for a look so flawless they think you were born this way. I love Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. It's oil peak and perfect for hiding imperfections as well as for highlighting and concerning your face. Check it out ladies, below is the link if you wish to purchase it with that link. Search for Vegas Vibes Closet. Follow Vegas Vibes on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram or check out VegasVibes.us for updates and announcements. Once again, I'm your host, Esmeralda Pedregold. Thank you for watching. Mwah!